EU leaders meet later today to decide how to respond to the forced diversion and landing of a Ryanair plane carrying a Belarusian opposition activist. The activist, Roman Protasiewicz, was arrested on landing in Minsk and he could face charges that carry the death penalty. The Ryanair flight was forced to make the stop on its journey from Greece to Lithuania. The US State Department said it was a shocking act that had endangered lives, as Adema Shiri reports. A missing person and a brazen act that have sent the international community reeling. This Ryanair flight left Athens and was set to land at its final destination in Lithuania's capital, Vilnius. But just as it was about to enter Lithuanian airspace, the plane was diverted and, according to the crew, was ordered to land in Minsk due to a security threat. A threat apparently so big this military aircraft escorted the plane to this unexpected pit stop. But when it landed, no bomb was found on board. And this Belarusian passenger was taken off the flight. Roman Protasevich is a 26-year-old opposition journalist exiled in Poland. They were checking our suitcases, but at the same time, they were arresting the journalist, the guy. How scared he was? Super scared. I saw, I looked at him directly into his eyes and it was very sad. Authorities have wanted Mr. Protasevich for organizing anti-government protests last year. Those demonstrations gripped the country following a disputed election and triggered widespread international condemnation. After this latest act, international outrage was quick to come in. The US Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, has said the United States condemns the act by Lukashenko's regime, demands an international investigation, and are coordinating with their partners on next steps. And the president of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, said, the outrageous and illegal behavior of the regime in Belarus will have consequences. Those responsible for the Ryanair hijacking must be sanctioned. So what does the opposition in Belarus want the world to do? In the first place, uh, it has to be a sanctions regime uh, that would be strong, that would be powerful, that would be directed against uh, the sensitive points in the system of Lukashenko, economic sanctions and also oligarchs of the regime. Today, the EU will discuss how to respond so that a steady flow of condemnations can be turned into action. Azadeh Mashiri, BBC News. I've been speaking to our correspondent in Moscow, Sarah Rainsford, and I asked her who exactly was Roman Protasevich. Well, he's in his uh, mid-20s. Uh, he had been living, as you say, in exile for some time for his own safety. Uh, he originally was running uh, the next uh, Telegram channel, which was extremely important and central uh, in terms of the, the mass opposition rallies that we saw after the disputed election, re-election of Alexander Lukashenko last year. So Next uh, uh, was publishing um, videos from right across the country of the protests. Uh, it was really, uh, I think, quite, quite key in terms of keeping the momentum of those protests going. Um, by telling people across the country about what was going on in other parts of Belarus. So whilst the authorities' official narrative was that there was uh, the, the whole country was supporting Mr. Lukashenko, Nexter was helping to tell other people in Belarus that actually there was huge opposition even in far-flung corners of the country. So uh, he founded Nexter, he was living abroad, and he was actually flying back to Vilnius uh, from Athens, where he'd been on holiday. Uh, he was with his girlfriend, and uh, the plane then was diverted and we understand uh, that uh, Mr. Pratasevich's girlfriend Sofia was also detained with him in Minsk. In fact her university in Vilnius has put out a statement calling for her uh, immediate release. Uh, she is a Russian citizen uh, as I say she'd been studying in Lithuania and uh, and was uh, Mr. Pratasevich's girlfriend. Uh, and was Pratasevich on a wanted list? Yes, uh, he was facing charges in Belarus for organizing the mass protests, the criminal offense, which I understand has a, a potential prison sentence of up to 15 years. So, uh, in fact, the Belarusian authorities had appealed to Poland at one point for his extradition. That's where he was living. Um, that hadn't happened. Uh, he was also the organization next to the Telegram channel had been listed by the Belarusian authorities as an extremist organization. So that's a potential 
potentially uh, a further uh, uh, criminal charge that could uh, Mr. Protasevich could possibly be facing. It's not entirely clear what he might be charged with now that he's been detained, but I think it is very clear that these will be serious charges. And if you look at what's happened to other opposition figures in Belarus uh, since people have been detained, uh, mass arrests across the country for anyone linked to the protest, I think it is clear that the consequences for him could be extremely serious.